it is very wrong to honor an invitation on behalf of your God. When a challenge is thrown open, you came out to stand. It is because probably you are carrying your God in your hands. Because those that their God carry in his hands, they never move without their God moving first. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Yes, uh, if you're just tuning in for your first time, please remember to hit the subscribe button. And uh, I come again today in peace. Please, um, the death of General Pope have caused a lot of wahala between native doctors and pastors, which are the main two powers that are fighting in this world. But one thing I wish to know, my people, when the native doctor came and challenged pastors, except I did not watch the video well, the native doctor never called the name of Prophet Jeremiah or any pastor. Prophet Jeremiah took it upon himself to go and uh, challenge the native doctor. Mm, please, my brothers, my sisters, some of you have watched it, it's an old video, but uh, I'm a bit confused. Because most of these native doctors, they say things. Because remember, God even used an animal to give an, a message to Balaam, who, was, who claimed to be a prophet. I wish to ask, according to the Bible, please, not according to what you think or I think, was it normal for Jeremiah to go that far? Forget about whether he's fake or, or real. Let's leave fake and real and focus on God. Because... These native doctors, I hear them sounding more, they sound more um, Christian than us Christians at times. Jesus Christ was asked in Matthew chapter 4, if you be the son of God, turn this bread. What did he say? Man shall not live by bread alone. If you be the uh, child of God, fall down from this uh, building. He said, that shall not tempt the Lord your God. And this native doctor made a statement, if you say you are fighting for your God, it means that your God is in your hand. Those that they are in the hands of their God, their God fight for them. Please, I want to hear your comment because this is really becoming funny. It's becoming funny. Is it normal for a pastor to be demos or fighting with native doctors to prove God? Because the native doctors are saying things that I'm really confused. Is it normal? Whether Jeremiah is okay or not, please let us focus on the Bible and leave that other side first because it's a story for another day. Please leave your comment as you go through this video. Back. Pastor Jeremiah is a man mm -hmm. I love and respect the way I respect your, uh, Reverend Chris Oyakulomi, PhD. You know, when I made a video that this water is more powerful than Jesus, that Jesus can, this water cannot bow in the name of Jesus, that you cannot do anything on this particular water or anything that is called water by the name of Jesus. I was not trying to say that Jesus cannot function in any other area. But when I said marine kingdom, this particular kingdom, you don't come here and do anything in the name of Jesus. Pastor, I am challenging everybody that make use of the name of Jesus, people that believe in Jesus, that you can come here and do mighty things with that name. If you think you can do it in the name of Jesus, then please, I want somebody to come with a proof. Come with that challenge. Come with that name. Let us confirm it. This water is another kingdom of its own. Deity in your hometown is another kingdom of its own. Marine kingdom and other kingdoms, they belong in their own kingdom. But you see, when you come here, you must follow the due process. It does not work here. The name of Jesus might work elsewhere. It might work here, it may be in your deity, in your other people's deity. But you see, marine kingdom, marine kingdom, you don't come here with the name of Jesus. If you can't come with a proof, come and prove it by yourself. Let one person, at least all the followers of Christ, who are making use of the name of Jesus, who are following Jesus, who believe in his name, who believe he can do mighty things with that name, come and give us a proof by themselves, by making use of that name to do mighty things on this river, without following the due process. Listen to me, to me carefully. The people are not serving water. What is living inside the water that they are serving? The deities. 
fallen angels that they are serving. When you mention his name, all other knees shall bow. Powers in heaven, powers on earth, powers in this water, they bow. No, Jesus is all the one. No other power. Jesus Christ is the I am Prophet Jeremiah Modofi. I want to just come and clear what is going on right now in the social media. It's now causing commotion in the body of Christ. Now, people who are worshiping the Marine Kingdom, they are now setting confusion in the body of Christ. But I want to let you know, I want to now clear you that Jesus Christ and water spirit, you cannot compare them. Because the difference is too much. Marine spirit has no power. In the name of Jesus Christ, all needs are bow. Let me tell you, I want to pass this message to uh, those people that who are in the Onisha Breeze, River Naita, River Benue, that right now, I want to let you know, pastors are not brainwashing any person. Listen, something, I, I just laugh at them, that people have said, money power to compare Jesus Christ. Now, only one thing I want to let you know, listen to me carefully. In heaven, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, Revelation 12, 7 to 10, it says, there was war in heaven. In this war, what happened? Angel Michael and his team pursued all those marine powers. They now, they turn to fallen angel. If they were having power, why they run away from, uh, from heaven? If they have power. Now, I want to also let you know, after Angel Michael and his team pursued them, they were turned to falling angels. Some fall in the land, some fall in the rocks, some in the forest. The falling angels, some fall in the water. That when the ones are now dwell right now in the water. You know, you can never ever use the powers in the marine kingdom to compare Jesus Christ. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. That what that man is not talking about. You can see what he says. Is that Jesus Christ can bow for this water. Let me tell you. One thing I want to let you know. So when somebody fights a man, the person that who runs is a loser. They have already lost right now in heaven before the earth. So when they now came down, they pursued them from heaven. They fall down. The ones that fall into the river, that is what, what we call that give birth to the marine kingdom. Let me tell you something very important that which you need to know. For your information and point of correction, never ever, whether you are, a, you are an abalist, wherever place you are, you are worshipping uh, any marine uh, kingdom, don't take that marine kingdom to compare our master Jesus Christ. I am now doing this video right now in the river. Mami Water has no single power. No single power Mami Water has. Are you hearing me? Jesus' power is superpower. He is the superior of all superior. But I want to also let you know one thing. Very, very important. Nobody created God. Nobody created water. Water is God himself. Every religion they call God. Everybody is called God. Uh, marine worshippers, they also call God. Every uh, religion, they call God. But I want to let you know, this information to the people that who are worshipping the marine powers. I say marine power get past Jesus Christ. Now, for recent example, I want to let you know again. Water is God itself because nobody created water. Listen carefully. I want to let you people know, understand the things of the spirit. Leave the things of the spirit for the spirit. Now, I'm not saying that they don't have power. They also have power. The marine powers you cannot take to compare the power of Jesus. Never ever be deceived one day. Begin to deceive children of God one day. In the book of Genesis 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, down, it is clearly said that in the beginning there was nothing. The power of God was moving on top of the water. What happened? Like the person who have a fish pond. The water is just there. The kind of fish that you put inside the water that can give birth to the, the kind of fish that wish you are putting on. Either catfish, catfish give birth to catfish, tilapia give birth to tilapia. That's how it is. 
Angel Michael and his team pursue Satan, the fallen angels. Why they fall into the water? That when they dwell. Not all the water you are in, marine power is existing. There are specific places that which marine power is existing. Are you hearing me? Not everywhere. That's why the man said, when you go to the river night, uh, river this, river that, center of river this, they always not swallow, but that is their territory. Their territory, whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not, in their territory, those that will carry Jesus Christ, you have more power than whatever power that in the from the water, whatever the money power they call it, care to know. Now listen, what we don't know, that when the fish that entered into the fish pond, then the fish now give birth to the fish its own itself. Tilapia give birth to tilapia, like I said, and also uh, um, catfish give birth to catfish. So the falling angels have now begin to dominate the area. That's why you can go to any place, different places, and they said, this one is like this. Uh, this is another different names of marine power. Let me tell you, they are not in this territory because this is not territory. They have different territory. But upon all the territories they are, when you mention the name Jesus Christ, all the news are about. Now, the fight started from heaven. In Jermaine pursued them. Let me tell you. When in Jermaine pursued them, why if they have power, why they don't follow Angel Michael? When you are fighting somebody, the person that who runs away, that is the person that who is lazy. So, young man, I want to address you. I want you to know the things of the spirit. No matter the power of marine power, all those powers in the marine kingdom, they, you cannot use them to compare Jesus Christ. I want to also let you know one thing very, very carefully right now. Listen. All those things that they are saying, there are pastors that God has called in order to now to control water. That was why Elisha controlled the water. Elijah also controlled the water as a prophet. Prophet Moses also controlled the water. Prophet Joshua controlled the water. Are you hearing me? I want to let you know about the things of God. Something you don't know, begin to ask the people that who understand these things. Hey, bro, I am just, you know, advising you. Don't mention that name, Jesus Christ, to compare marine kingdom. I want to let you know about the things of God. Listen to me, to me carefully. The people are not serving the water. What is living inside the water that they are serving? The deities, falling angels that they are serving. I want to let you know one thing. Listen, they are the ones that are giving power to the water. Why? In the book of John 5, verse 1 down to 10, it is written, this is the pool of Bethsaida. In a season, when the angels come down and trouble the water before the water became powerful, so the same thing, the fallen angels are where they dwell that become part of that. They are worshipping the angels that wish trouble the water, that give power to the water for people to receive healing in the, uh, right now at the pool of Bethsaida. So the same way, the fallen angels fall into somewhere, in any place, in any community, in any village, in order to now dwell there, to now cause problems. The demons that inside the water that they are worshipping, not the water that they are worshipping. Are you hearing me? And they are asking that who, are they, why are they worshiping water? No, they are not worshiping the water. It is demons that that's why they call it marine kingdom. In their kingdom, not the water that they are worshiping. Water is for everybody. Christians can use water. Apalis can use water. But I want to let you know only one thing. I want to let people know wherever place you are, because of what is going on in social media space. You have to now go and have a spiritual father. Go and meet a spiritual father. Anything, call the name Jesus Christ before you travel. You're going in the sea, call the name Jesus Christ. You'll be saved. So please, whatever you are, point of correction, powers in uh, Onisha, under Richa Bridge, powers in River Beniway, powers in the River Niger. You cannot, from today, point of correction to all uh, herbalists that will worship this water. Hey, don't use our master's name to compare your idol or whatever thing they call it, whatever place, whatever money power you call yourself or whatever worshiper you call yourself. Please, Jesus Christ is Jesus Christ. So, for your information, I am Prophet Jeremiah Modofufui. I hereby clear the doubt of the people that who are out there. So today, God is here, wherever you are.
I am Prophet Jeremiah Mother Fui, giving this information. We fear no evil. We fear no marine spirits. Marine powers has no power. This water, I'm, I'm talking about the water here. In the name of Jesus Christ, all means about. Master of all masters, his name is called Jesus Christ. He has changed now. He remains the same today and forever. When you mention his name, all other knees shall bow. Powers in heaven, powers on earth, powers in this water, they bow. So that's how they are. So please, I want to let you know, don't be deceived by any idol worshiper. Jesus is right. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is water. i giving this information to the people. Never ever give up. Jesus Christ more than powers of the water. Thank you. God bless you. And I love you all. So I am Rebin Prophet Jeremiah Moto for free. Hey! Okay, 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 okay,